Welcome back. Um, this is Escape Your Cubicle. I'm the amateur. And 6.38 in the morning, Saturday, March 14th, 2020. Um, normally I'd be trying to sleep in, but I did still want to uh, make another run to a store. Last night, yesterday evening, it was just ridiculous. It was full of people. There was uh, 10, 15 people full of shopping carts of food in every line at the at the store so when I was making one more run over there it just it was not going to be possible so let's give it a shot at 6 30 in the morning and see how crowded it is the streets are pretty empty so that's a good sign but you never know what you're going to find um you guys were probably wondering like how could you need so much stuff it's not that I really need so much stuff but every time I get a few things and I get back home over there to mission control. Um, I, I look in the fridge, or I look over here, and I'm like, oh yeah, I don't have this. Oh yeah, I don't have, I'm not good at taking inventory, apparently, of what I need. It's not that I love going out to the grocery store, because believe me, I don't. But, um, oh, it's pretty crowded, actually. But, um, and then, you know, I, I checked with family, see if anybody else, um, uh, my folks or anybody needs anything from the store, they might need a few things, so I might as well just do a run and uh, make a pickup for the team. Pick up something that everybody needs. You know, get, get everybody's list. There's no point in everybody else needing to go out to the store. But, um, so I'll pick up everything for everybody else. But uh, yeah, it looks like there's quite a few people here actually for 6.30 in the morning. But I mean, it's Saturday. It's just gonna be ridiculous in here. Let's see. I'm gonna park next to one of these cart return things. So all the cops are here. I'm gonna park one next to one of these cart returns so that I can return once I get back here with my stuff I can just park the cart and go I don't have to do that all right we're over here at Wally Mart um, we're in Las Vegas Nevada if you guys are new to the channel but um okay let's go in and uh, see if I can get my stuff and get out of here
a lot of people that that sort of um, tuned out with what was going on during the week or whatever you want to call it um, didn't stock up on some necessities might be having a little bit of a rough time finding much today because over here at the Walmart um, they are a hundred percent out of water um, paper towels toilet paper uh, they're down to about 10% canned food and that's just gonna be like plain beans not even like the good refried baked beans or anything like that just plain old kidney beans I saw one person with half a shopping cart of kidney beans I should have got a video of that that's all they had but there was still more on the shelves surprisingly there was a few pizzas left not a lot maybe a dozen or two dozen frozen pizzas all frozen burritos were gone most frozen uh, dinners like um, Lean Cuisine were gone I got three of those um, let's see there was all the frozen meat was gone uh, like bulk packaged patties and uh, bulk meat and all that stuff um, the let's see there was a lot of frozen vegetables and frozen fruit still which is funny because you still need to eat that stuff guys when when there's a, a situation or whatever you want to call it um, you need to eat your fruits and vegetables especially because maybe there's not going to be as much fresh out there at the market and you don't want to go out to the market anyway so the frozen is what you want to get so either canned or frozen actually thinking about it I should have got a big bag of uh, frozen broccoli that they had there because I don't mind broccoli you put a little bit of melted, melted cheese on it that was dumb but you know I'm trying to make my way around and get what's on my list and of course you end up getting sucked into some of the hype and you go a little bit overboard everyone in there had shopping carts full so that's that's some hype and when you look around and you see shelves emptying before your eyes what are you going to do for human nature you you get afraid that stuff's going to disappear and it's not going to come back you know things will get caught up it's not going to be like the shelves are going to be empty from this point forward okay it's, it, things will get caught up right now we're just seeing everything sort of taking off so everyone is getting they're pushing beyond what they need right now because of the panic factor they want to be stocked up for the next two weeks it'll be a little bit low on supplies for the next two to three weeks probably I'm thinking but it might get caught up sooner than that you know everything is scaling up full blast um, there's people out there stocking as we go and there's people pulling stuff off the shelves as they stock it so this is what we're gonna see for a little bit don't forget too if you if you go to the stores and they're empty it's not you don't have to panic because you also have a lot of um, opportunities to buy some stuff online I mean the online groceries will still be low as well you know they'll be short but you got you can check on Amazon for uh, for canned goods and groceries and stuff like that you, you know canned tuna or whatever you can look on um, Vons Albertsons any places that deliver in your area where you are the deliver groceries check those guys out see what they have available don't forget about um, the restaurants the restaurants are going to be hurting for business even fast food because people aren't going to want to be going out leaving their homes too much use take advantage of those delivery services like uber eats because the uber drivers my theory and this is just my own personal theory i haven't even done any research or looked online is that a lot of drivers like me are going to start to scale down driving people around because they don't want a bunch of people in their car that are potentially sick if the drivers are not sick yet and switching over to food delivery is going to be one way to lower your exposure to the people you still have to go into the restaurants like i've said in my past videos get the food but maybe some maybe they'll come up with a process for that as well where you just pull up and they hand you the food I don't know yet um, but delivery the uber services and all that give you a way where you can designate and leave it at the door ring the doorbell text me leave it at the door or whatever and you're good to go um, it's cool that you could tip on the app start tipping if you guys are using these services start, if you're gonna leave a tip start tipping on the app don't do cash because they say you know if someone's infected they get you give them cash they give you change the money can actually hold the virus for like a few hours or a, even possibly a few days all right so use the app to tip you know um, that way it's all digital but yeah use use like uber eats you can still get a lot of your food delivered that way on demand as you need it if you can't stock up you can order sodas on there if the water is running out at these grocery stores um, think of alternatives you know for emergency like I got you can't give it to the kids but I got another 30 pack of Coors Light um, got some sirens I don't see anything um, so yeah you know 
could buy some light beer. You could buy soda. If the sodas, if the water's out, you, you, you get some alternatives just so you feel comfortable that you have something to drink. You need something to drink. If you don't want to trust your tap water like I don't. Um, some places actually have good tap water. But um, over here in Vegas, probably not. LA, big cities, probably not so much. Um, so yeah, get your sodas. They also have a lot of sparkling water. Like they had sparkling water here. And I got some of those like the... Um, and they're cheap, 74 cents for like a 32 ounce of um, flavored sparkling water, which are which are fine, which are good. There's a lot of all, other alternatives that you have to think of. Just get what you can. You know, if they're out of the water and stuff you want, get something that works as an alternative. Um, once everybody is done doing their big bulk scale up right here at the start, that demand is going to go like this because people will be stocked up. They'll have enough food for a couple of weeks, a week or two or three, right? Most people that have done this and they've gone out and they've loaded up. So what that means is that burst of demand that's hitting right now all at once, that's depleting the immediate uh, shelves on the stores, that demand is going to drop because all these people that are out now stocking up, they're good. They're not going to be out there shopping again. So you're going to have like a second wave of people during this next week that are going to be out that missed out on the first wave of shopping because everything ran out. The, store, the stores will get replenished. It'll it'll deplete you know it'll deplete again a little bit, and then those people will be good. And then eventually, people will have you know two, three, four weeks or more worth of food in their homes. They're not going to be shopping much, so the stores are going to get replenished. And the supply of groceries, in my own mind, in my theory, is is going to come back to more towards normal. Um, but you know you just kind of do what you got to do. Check the little uh, gas stations and convenience stores. They have stuff as well. When people, the first thing people think of is the big club stores: Costco, Sam's Club. Then they go to Target, Walmart, uh, CVS, grocery stores. Those get run down. Now think of your smaller places. Think of liquor stores or small markets in your area that other people are not thinking of, typically for groceries, because they do carry a small amount of groceries, and people might not be stocking up too much at those locations. So try those. Um, yeah, guy in the parking lot I was just talking to, I didn't have my video rolling, but he was asking me what was going on. Like, not what was going, he knew what was going on with the virus. But he was asking, you know, what's going on inside the Walmart, how is it? I told him, it's actually, right now, it wasn't overwhelmingly crowded. More crowded for the time of morning than usual, but not anything like what I saw yesterday afternoon. Um, but the problem was that because of uh, the last couple of days and, and what's going on over there now, the shelves are pretty depleted. He said, yeah, he said he just came from Sam's Club which is like a big club store, right? Costco and all that, where you could buy in bulk. And he said it was a madhouse with, with the amount of people in there. And he says the water was gone there as well, so. But uh, yeah, that's it, that's it for me. I got, a, I got a can of coffee, I got four bottles of cheap wine, um, I got a couple 12 packs of eggs, like I've said before, I'm gonna make some Egg McMuffins and freeze those if, if um, uh, so that I have, you know, in case I can't get out to get fresh eggs, so I can freeze those, I can reheat them later. Um, I got the uh, sparkling water, I got a couple of little frozen meals that were over there still. Um, I got a couple of things of butter because I do. Um, I'm almost out of butter, and I, I have some frozen bread. I want to be able to make toast and bagels. That I have frozen bagels, and they had bread there. They had lots of bagels still. They had um, some okay levels of bread. Hot dog buns were almost gone. Hamburger buns were okay, um, but bread you could freeze. And what you do is the day before you're going to have some, or you take a small amount of it and just keep it in the fridge, and then you transfer it from the freezer to the fridge. And it defrosts naturally in your fridge over a day or two. And then it's perfectly fine. It just lasts longer that way. Um, yeah, so that's it. Um, don't panic. Keep calm. Try those other sources of places. If your uh, local grocery stores are a madhouse, try going at off hours. Um, it's already too late if you're watching this and it's like mid to late morning today. It's probably crazy. And they're going to restock overnight as much as they can. So I suggest for you guys that are trying to get caught up, Go as early in the morning, check what time your store's open. Get there like 15 minutes or whatever before they open. If they're 24 hours, go at like two or three in the morning if you can because the stockers are working overnight and you'll get there when they're putting stuff out. You can, you can get it then. So thanks for watching guys, stay safe. Uh, leave me some comments, subscribe if you're not yet a subscriber. I'll keep you posted on what's going on over here in Las Vegas. I'll see you soon.